So today we're here at Magnaflow. What the hell are a bunch of EV guys doing at Magnaflow? What are we doing today, Snow? Hey, we're gonna uh, put the girls to the test, see what kind of powers you laying down. That's right. So Dynaf uh, Magnaflow has been really cool. They've been uh, really nice to us. We are coming here today to use their dyno to see yeah. what the HBD Hillbilly Deluxe has got and in store. We'll also, uh, you know, and get the doc out here for a photo op. Exactly. You know? We'll put him on the dyno later. We're doing some computer changes, but uh, we're at Magnaflow. We're gonna keep you guys posted. It's gonna be really fun. And uh, what we got the Welshman behind the wheel. Oh, the wheeling Welshman. Oh, check it out. We got the new eight ball oh, steering dude, wheel. This wheel is something else. <laughs> <laughs> I, you gotta look at it this way, okay? You just gotta look at it. That's all you can do anymore. I'm loving this. <laughs> uh, it doesn't get more California like, wow. than this. What are you drinking? What do you think? Tea. <laughs> <Of course. laughs> what else would Welshman be drinking? Alright, I'm gonna go inside boys and check us in real quick. Yeah, I didn't. So we pulled the Hillbilly Deluxe out of the bay. Getting ready to go. Don't try this at home. Put in a new steering column. So we <laughs> put in a steering column. It was a little bit of play in it, the wheel. <laughs> That's a so lot of play. I get a big old swig of tea. It's like, this thing better not fall off while we're driving. And I was like, tea coming out of my nose. And I like, I was choked to death. Dude. Okay. We don't, we don't always do a really good job of everything around here. And we make mistakes like everyone else. Yes. So, on that note. <laughs> on that note. Welcome back to the Revolt Garage. We had a really good time today, and based on our swag, <laughs> nice clothing, we went to Magnaflow. Now, what the hell are a bunch of EV guys doing at Magnaflow? What are we doing at Magnaflow? We don't want to do EVs anymore. We decided exhaust is pretty cool and it sounds better. So what so we're going to do is we're going to put an exhaust on the side of our electric motor that comes out of the Hillbilly Deluxe. Yeah, so electrons go, you know, flying out the side. That's right. Yeah. Oh, we weren't supposed to tell anybody. Oh, that's right. That's but if you do believe that, I got a bridge for sale. Exactly. Anyway, we have some really good friends over there. Thanks, Rich. And Jeff. Yep. They were able to get us onto the dyno with the Hillbilly Deluxe. And over, what, three years now we've been talking about getting that thing up? Oh, yeah. Or getting yeah, one of our motors that. on a dyno. Now, we know what they produce because we could do mathematical calculations. Our cores do come out of a Tesla, so we do have some pretty good data about that. But with that said, it's nice to see what these things actually do in one of our vehicles. Right. So we decided to take the Hillbilly Deluxe because it has the stiffest pack. That means it has the least amount of sag on it, and we can get the best, amount, best numbers out of that. We're all also working on the dock right now, and she was unavailable to get on the dyno. What did we pull out of that thing today? <laughs> the numbers the were wheels. very impressive. Typically when you go to a dyno, you'll see numbers for the rated horsepower on cars. A lot of times, those numbers, they strip the motor down, it has no accessories, oh. no parasitic no losses, water pump even no, water. not even a water pump, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And they do the horsepower rating, and then they put that number on, and again, everybody knows horsepower sells cars. You got a 500 horsepower car, put it on a dyno that may only make 400 horsepower, it may only make 350, depending on mechanical losses. But today, the Hillbilly Deluxe, she got on the dyno and made close to 500 horsepower. I believe the number was 487 was our max. On the wheels. And we, At the uh, wheels. We weren't fully, fully charged. We were almost topped all the way off, but we didn't want to squeeze every electron. Plus we had to drive our car there, yep. uh, which is not far. It's literally right up the street. but. That's a very small battery pack. We had to do a couple test pulls, so it brought down the pack just a little tiny bit. So we probably lost, a, you know, probably 10, 15 horsepower. I'd say, um, yeah, about 15. I was if we had got a full pack, I believe we would have been 500 horsepower. 500. And that's a no cheating, no kidding 500. That was on a dyno that even, it even rolls the front wheels. There's yep. no cheating. Four wheel dyno. No tricks going on. And uh, you actually did the best pull. I like the way you. It was the most impressive pull. <laughs> it was impressive. Uh, Snow got on, he was testing it. We had to strap the car down, do a bunch of fun stuff to it, get it all positioned right, because it is a four wheel dyno, so that means the whole car is actually floating. Um, you got on it, I'm like, punch it. He goes, okay. okay. Wham! <laughs> he goes, I said, do I have to roll into it? He goes, not really. So. <laughs> no, just Let's see what she's got. And it spiked pretty good. Yeah, We're going to yeah, put right those uh, yeah. results on, on the screen for you here in just a little bit. So we had a really good time with that. Really great crew. 
Um, very impressive numbers, and when we talk about horsepower at the rear end, that means on the ground, what it's delivering to the roller, we just talked about parasitic drag, mechanical drag, all these different losses that we have that you're losing horsepower. So our motors are technically rated around 603 horsepower, but you're going to have to go through a transfer case, a gearbox, a rear end, you're going to lose some power there. What did you find out that were our percentage losses in the HPD? Percentage loss was 15.6%, and that's not just mechanical, that's electrical too. We're talking, if you pulled 100 kilowatts out of the battery, we'd put 85 to the ground. It's, it's lost through the whole system, that's super efficient. I think I expected to see like 20 just in mechanical, so I'm, I'm stoked with, with how, how efficient that is. Yeah, good numbers, good times. Mm -hmm. I, I had a blast today. I, I mean, I got up at 5.30 this morning and yeah. I was like, let's go to the dyno. I've been waiting for this moment for many, many years. I've been building this, uh, this, this product for a long time and it's finally good to see it rolling. And we have real numbers from a real company that does exhaust systems. Um, anyway, thanks again to the dyno, uh, the, the Magnaflow guys, the Magnaflow yeah, crew, and the dyno crew there that yeah. helped us strap the car down. Um, I, I can't thank you guys enough and we're rocking your swag. <laughs> now, speaking of strapping a lot of the car down, oh, when man. the Welshman gets in the Hillbilly Deluxe, we're looking at the front of the, the vehicle. He nails it, front straps, piano string tight. Rear straps, piano string tight. He gets on it and the front straps go. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I was like, oh, I hope that thing doesn't come out of there. <laughs> you stand in front of it literally the like lunges forward and like stressed yeah. the back even more. That was pretty impressive, the pull. Well, I'm really, really happy they have some really good safety protocols over there. They don't yeah. mess around. Okay. They had a giant steel pole that's anchored into the, the concrete. So if a car would ever break loose, it's only going to hit that pole. You can mess your car up, but you're going to take anyone with you. So. mess your teeth up. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the update. We're really excited about this one because now we have some real values of what our motor is doing in an old beater truck. So, hey, hey, I love Boulevard it. Boulevard Bruiser, yeah. son. <laughs> Boulevard Bruiser. Hey, thanks. Like, subscribe to our channel. We're here, don't like us, leave some comments, ask some questions, we'll hopefully answer everything for you guys, and we'll see you next time at Rebel Garage. If you're close to Barona and you want to race, oh. line up next to the Hillbilly Deluxe, we're taking all covers. Hit us up. Let's go, let's do this. Thank you guys, take care.